Hey guys, and welcome back to another vlog. So I am now at the Melbourne airport and I'm flying with Virgin to go to Sydney for the Google event. So I've done an online check in and everything, got my bag. Um, I'm only really staying there for a night. So this is actually pretty heavy. So I'm 6.6 .6 kilos, 7 kilos is the allowed um, carry on. So this is perfect. So we're going to make our way to the car truck. Alright guys, so we're now on the plane, we're going to be heading off soon and hopefully it's going to be on time. Alright guys, so we've arrived at the Sydney airport and um, Virgin has got their own little terminal. I'm going to have to put the camera away because I think I'm going to go through like one of those security check things again. But yeah, I'm going to hop onto a train and then I'm going to go into the city and then I'm going to meet up with Sunita. We're going to have some food, catch up because I haven't seen her in so long, then head over to the Airbnb so I can get rid of this, um, just leave it there and also get freshen up and then head over to the event. Alright, let's go. So when you come to Sydney, you can obviously take the trains, as you guys can see, that's what I'm going to be doing. There's also like buses, shuttles, and like taxis and stuff. I love coming to Sydney, New South Wales in general, that have these trains because they're double deck, and I just find that so convenient, whereas the one in Melbourne, we only have one, um, like one story. So here's a little map of Sydney, if you guys don't know, um, and that's the train system, pretty, pretty well covered. Um, I used to live in a town called Wollongong, which is like, this blue line here, it's further down. So that's like the uni town um, that I went to. The same line that I also used to take to get up to Sydney. So it looks like there's a few trains heading towards where I need to go. So let's just hop on. Get to meet up with Sunita again. Uh, so good, I haven't seen her in so long and it's going to be great to catch up with her. Uh, I do talk to her pretty much on the daily, like texting, but it's different when you want to see your best friend in person. It is a bright and gorgeous day here in Sydney. Guys, I've now met up with Sunita. We're at Pepper Lunch and our food is here. So say hello to Sunita. Got our food, really, really hungry. This is like a tradition um, that we started like years ago before I moved to Melbourne. So we're gonna catch up and I'm starving. Let's go. brought me to a new part, uh, well it's not a new part, but it's new to me, it's called Barangaroo, um, so near Dalyhurst. So, Dali Harbour. Dali Harbour. Keep getting confused between the two. Um, so we're just going to check out a cafe, <laughs> chill, and then I might take a few photos for the gram because why not? Finally at the Airbnb. Sorry I didn't vlog on the way here because I had like my big bag which is that one over there and I also had a little Woolies bag which is over there and it was just like lit literally really heavy to carry that bag so that bag was like 6.6 kilos when I weighed it and I also had that and then I also had my phone in my hand because I didn't really know where I was going so I had to rely on GPS so that was a little bit a little bit tiring. Alright, so I'll give you guys a little bit of an Airbnb room tour. Alright, we're going to start from the bottom and work our way 
way to the top. <laughs> so I'm just being really quiet because I don't know if the Airbnb host lives in there because there's another door here and it says Airbnb is upstairs so I'm assuming this is their private residence. Um, so I'll show you guys on the way up. So we've got these modern looking stairs. It's really cool. We've also got a little handle um, and then we'll work our way up. We've got a fire, a smoke detector I should say. like that already. And then on the way up you've got the toilet. So just got my shoes there. Um, here we have got a window. Um, it's got a fly screen. So if you guys don't know what that means, that's a little mesh so that the bugs don't get in. I don't know if you guys can see that. Got some cupboards um, and a map of Sydney, which I appreciate. I think that's a really cute touch. Got extra pillows, I think. Towels, some sheets. Oh, that was my back. <laughs> got a kettle, if I move this way. We've got the bed. So we've got the bed over there. I think this is a... Well, I think that might be a double or it might be a queen. I'm not sure. Got another window. This place is really cute. Our fridge over here. I've already got like some snacky poos that I got from Woolies in there. Got a little section here for some tea, some coffee, which is great because I didn't bring any coffee with me. So I'll just use that in the morning. Um, got a little chair there as a side table. And I was actually pretty surprised that there's a fan in here because I remember looking at the Airbnb listing. I don't remember seeing a fan. Got a little rug here, a little side table, which is so cute. I don't know what this is. I think it's just for design purposes. Um, and the Airbnb host has got like little notes everywhere. And this is the bathroom. Oh my gosh. I am not kidding you. I haven't actually seen the bathroom and wow. This is cute. This is really, really cute. It's really cute. I like that. Oh my gosh, guys, this is, this is something else. This is, this is real cute, real cute. I love the greenery in here. It's so cool. I think these are, f well, I don't know. They're not fake, they're real. Hmm. There you go. So if you guys have allergies, probably stay away from this place. Um, also in general, because the area has got a lot of like um, trees and bushes and stuff like that. And then this is the shower. And it actually looks pretty clean, I have to say. Sometimes showers at Airbnbs kind of freak me out because they're a little bit ewy, but this isn't bad. So the event doesn't start until 6. I think I might leave here around 6. I get there like 6, 15, 6, 20, not too early. And I do plan on staying for maybe two or three hours only because uh, I do have a catch a flight tomorrow at 6 a.m. So I kind of have to make sure I have enough sleep. Otherwise, I'm going to be wrecked tomorrow at work. And yes, I'm going straight to work tomorrow after. All right, guys, so I've just chilled and this is my makeup. And yes, I decided to go for something quite intense. I actually used the Urban Decay Smoky Palette. Yeah, I'll show you guys my outfit before we go overall that's what i look like still not happy about this this needs to go at some point but i feel more comfortable in this shirt and yeah so i'm just gonna order um a car to take me there because i think it's 6 30 now and i think it started at six um so yeah let's go <laughs> disorienting like honestly from the uber because um i knew what the house looked like during the daytime and then at night time i got dropped off i was like i don't know where the house is <laughs> so i had to look on google maps and then just kind of like hmm, i think that's it and then yeah i recognized the front door <laughs> so it's like 10 15 in the evening i think so i have to take my makeup off and then um maybe have another quick shower before i hop into bed um actually i have to pack everything so that tomorrow when i wake up i can just grab my bag and then order um like a dd or an ola and then be gone yeah so my flight is 6 30 so i'm just gonna do an online check-in so that i don't have to go through all the paperwork and stuff I can just go straight towards like um security get my bag scanned and then we're off good morning guys it's um 4 30 the next day and i have just realized i forgot to bring my work shoes um so i'm gonna have to wear 
like my sneakers to work hopefully my work doesn't mind um i'm sure it's gonna be fine it's just i feel a little bit funny about it anyway So I'm back in Melbourne and I'm just going to catch this shuttle to the city so I can get myself to work. Yeah. 